What's up, everybody? It's your boy AC, and I'm back with another edition of LA Sports Live. Now, as you guys come into the video, do me a favor, go ahead and hit that like button. That's right, hit that like button. It really helps the channel out, and I really appreciate it. And if you're not a raised subscriber, if you just found the channel, go ahead and subscribe. And while you're at it, make sure you hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every day when I drop new videos here on YouTube. Now, you guys see the thumbnail, you see the title. Now, of course, if you know if you're you know you follow my channel or you're a basketball fan, most of you guys were tuned in to the the good ESPN special last night, the Last Dance, uh, which is you know following the Chicago Bulls, the legendary Chicago Bulls teams, and the legendary uh, goat Michael Jordan, and uh, you know basically they. You know, they're talking about his career and the championship runs with, you know, specifically the last the last championship run. Um, the big thing a lot of people are talking about uh, out of the first two episodes is the pay disparity between uh, Scotty and MJ. Now, and a lot of people are talking about, you know, kind of comparing how, you know, how LeBron kind of does things and, you know, how he kind of yields his wields his power with the front offices that a team he's played for and you know basically how they, they were saying how he's got a lot of pay, uh, players paid and kind of questioning why MJ didn't do the same thing for Scotty now that was you know that was a different time and place back in those days MJ certainly wielded a lot of power but even given you know you guys watched the two episodes and you saw the strenuous a relationship between MJ and the general manager uh, Jerry Krause. So what the hell makes you think that Jerry was going to be inclined to listen to anything that Michael uh, said? I mean, certainly Michael had power, but it's just not the same as it is today. You know, with today's players, uh, it was just a type different time and place. The money was different, and uh, you really cannot compare the two. Certainly, both MJ and LeBron are very, very uh, great players, very powerful players. But there's a lot of things you really can't compare. And one of those things are definitely, you know, the type of power that they had with their, their team officials and team executives. Anyhow, that's my opinion. That's what, what, what I think. If you want to blame somebody, and if you think it was unfair how Scotty was paid, you, you have to blame two people. You have to blame Scotty because he signed the contract, and you have to blame his agent. You know, because once they got into, you know, a few years of the contract, he should have saw that, look, this needs to be renegotiated. Scott is clearly playing above the contract level, and uh, we need to take care of this. But neither thing happened, and it's definitely not MJ's fault. Wrap with y'all later.